don't get cock blocked by your cox cable piece. So we're gonna pie flash the pie hole. We're gonna flash the pie hole. See what a hole looks like, how to exploit it, and how to get <laughs> in. What a hole looks like. Exactly. <laughs> you know what? If you don't know what a hole looks like, go look at a video on Pornhub first before you watch any more of this. So what we're going to be looking at today is looking at network security, um, looking for uh, ways to hack into our own um, system. So more or less, we're trying to figure out how to hack ourselves. It is my birthday, so we are drinking Happy lots of good day. stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. We are drinking boondocks. Mm. And uh, let's see, make sure you can see it right here. We got boondocks, and it's the 127 proof. And then we also have uh, Bib, uh, Bib and Tucker, which is actually really, really good. Highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, not as high proof. It's only like 92 proof, but it's still got the job done. Yeah, no, it's good stuff. Yeah. Is this a good segment you want to talk about the VPN that you're using right now, or do you want to talk about that later in the, in the video? Um, no, we can talk about that now. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, you're, you're pretty familiar with uh, Nord VPN. Yeah, so like what you're using is Nord. Mm hmm tons of VPN providers out there um, but I mean Dave correct me if I'm wrong here but I, I like it. it's fast it's reliable never had a problem with it it has hundreds of servers everywhere in the world a lot in the US if you wanted to try to get around some kind of geolocation VPNs are the perfect way to do it if you're in a country uh, you know that's you know Middle East something like that you always hear about stuff that's you can't access Netflix you can't access this exactly. side and stuff like that a VPN will help you, you know, circumvent some of that kind of stuff. Granted, you need to look into your local laws if you are in another country uh, to see if you can get in trouble. But I did notice that uh, some of the lines in, in India uh, or some of the websites when you connect through India, they don't populate like yeah. they do here in the U.S. So it looks like you know they've got some sites that, that aren't accessible in India. But so that's like when I was in China, you know, a few years ago. The you know the Great Firewall of China mm -hmm. restricted a lot of certain you know yeah. a lot of things that. Uh, they didn't want their citizens to see. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I guess you know what we want to know is 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 our system secure? Can we hack into it? And uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna say, what's my IP address in Google? And again, we're using NordVPN, so this is not our real IP address. So uh, definitely, you know, feel free to think that this is our IP address, but it is not. Um, and but like if you're doing this from home, this will show you your Correct, IP correct, address. correct. And if you want to test it without having uh, uh, the VPN on, that's actually the way you want to do it. You, do, you really don't want to have your VPN on, but since we don't want to share uh, our, our um, IP address, you know, we're, we're doing it this way. But, you know, one of the amazing things is, is if you're using uh, this what's my IP address .com that was right here after we typed in what's my IP address you can go in here and it's gonna tell you where it's located and you know when, when I do it for my house it shows me the actual city I'm in and it's very very close um, so you can see what your IP address is here and you can even uh, click on the IP lookup and you can click get details and it'll give you a little bit more. Uh, you've got your longitude, your latitude, and everything else. And again, when I do this without my VPN on, it's it's very close. It's it knows exactly where I live. So so from this website's perspective, we are actually located in Colorado. Mm -hmm. Correct. So because that's where the servers yep. of NordVPN exist. Yep. So if you don't want somebody to know where you live uh, and you're on, you know, uh, uh, a VPN, you know that that's going to accomplish that. I mean, these are perfect when you're out and about and you know, like a yeah. public public Wi-Fi. Yeah. Definitely want to have you know you want to have a VPN on there because it'll help encrypt your traffic, let it get through there a little better. Exactly. Uh, it's and like like Dave said, if you don't want your home ISP to track everything, I mean, they're going to track they're going to track the best they can. Even with the VPN, they're still yep. going to see certain kinds of connections. Uh, but this this does a, a lot better. If, keeping your identity a little bit more secret. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, we can kind of get into a few more things on the VPN uh, as we get down the road because there are a lot of good reasons to use a VPN. Yeah. Um, but what we're going to do with this is we want to try to hack ourselves. So in order to do that, obviously, we're going to need our, our IP address. 
uh, and then what we want to do is we want to go to the outside of our network because if you're inside your network you're already in it's not hacking uh, we want to try to get in from the outside so in order to do that uh, I've set up a Linode account and you can actually go and, and type in in Google uh, you know free uh, Linux uh, servers and you can find other ways to get it. I, I know AWS, what do they do is that you said it's a, a credit that you get when you yeah, start up. Like, so like if you, if you spin up a free, you know, spin up an AWS account, it costs nothing to actually open an AWS account. You only cost for everything that you actually use, but AWS has a ton of free tier servers. Mm -hmm. Linux definitely falls underneath that category. And for what we're demonstrating today, more, more than adequate to use that. And what I've done is I've, I've gone ahead and actually used uh, Linode. They had a, uh, and they still have it. It doesn't show here because they know who I am. They know I've already, oh wait, no, it's right here. Here it is, try Linode free, $100 uh, credit, 60 day credit for new users. So that means that, um, you know, I can I can use this. I did get a bill for like a dollar and so I'm not sure why that happened. I'll have to look into that. But Well, so if, if it's a $100 credit, right? Mm -hmm. If the server is constantly running, mm -hmm. you're being charged for every hour that it's running. Like That's how cloud providers work. Got it, got it, got it. So I'll probably want to turn it off after we're done with this because I don't really need it. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we'll show you how to do it. So get your account. We're going to log in and Oh, no, you see my password. Well... No, that's your username. Oh, that's my username. Well, you know what? Uh, we're going to yeah, you don't you don't care if you see my username. Oops, it's there. We go. This Boondocks whiskey is pretty fucking fantastic. It is, it is, and you know I am gonna have to have some more of this um, Bub and Tucker because I really like it. Mm. Awesome. Going back to the next. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a little bit in there so we can keep on going. Here, we'll put this over here in case you want to get into that. Perfect. So now that we've got our uh, our server here, it's running. Um, all we want to do is we're going to go access it. And Oops. Let me, real quick here before you go into that, I'm assuming you just click on the Create a Node and that will actually run through the, the Correct. Set, the set and actually a good point, um, what I did was I went in and I, I chose uh, Debian. Debian and you know I used uh, whatever was closest to me and this is actually the plan that I created. So I think this is where, you know, I'm getting the, the hourly uh, charges and yeah. then, you know, the monthly is $5. So, uh, but that's, that's what we did. And we're going to go back here and we're going to access our account. And we can see, you know, if we want to SSH into it or anything, we've got that. Uh, you've got your uh, IP address. Uh, you also have your uh, your uh, IPv6. Is that what that is? It's the IPv6 yep. address. A super so long, can, complicated one. Yeah, so you can get into it either way. But we're just going to launch our console here. And this is just opening a web version of SSH. Correct. In, in their console. Correct. And you know, actually, to be honest, I like the way that you showed me earlier to do it this way. Um, we're going to go ahead and open PowerShell. And we're gonna do SSH, and then we are gonna use right there, yep. this piece right here. Actually, we should just grab the whole thing, and, and then right click for that, yep. There we go. And we're gonna put in our password for the server that we set up, and bang, we're in. So now what we wanna do is we want to try to um, connect with our IP address. Well, before we get into that, uh, we Dave actually went through and installed Nmap already onto the server, correct? Correct, correct. And Nmap, uh, to install it, uh, all you have to do is, oops. Sorry about that. Why is, it's a right click. Is oh, it, it's a it, right click, that's it, right. Yeah. So this is all you type to actually install Nmap, and it's already installed, and you know basically just reinstalled it, or you know did what it would do when you do install it. It doesn't take much time. Um, and then to uh, go ahead and run this and see what we can see, we're gonna run this 
Oh. It did not have the dash in front of it. There we go, we need the dash, SN, and we are going to go back over to here and we're gonna grab our IP address. All right, right click, yeah. And it's gonna run a query and look and see, you know, what is, what is up with this IP address? Is there anything that's open that we can hack into? And what this is actually running it against is not actually your home here, but the NordVPN server where we're connected into. Correct, correct. And so this is for demonstration purposes only. Uh, what you'll want to do is, you know, if you are using a VPN, take your VPN down, do the same exact thing. And what you're going to find here is that even though uh, we're using a VPN, uh, I, I, I would expect that maybe we might see something open, but um, it's all closed, so we're very safe. Uh, and what we want you to do at home is we want you to go ahead and do what we just did to try to hack into your own system and see if you have anything that's open. Uh, if you have things that are open, then that's when you're in trouble and you've got to find out what are on these ports, you know, uh, what are things that are common that people have ports open for? Like so, for so you would, I mean, port 80, it's HTTP, mm -hmm. so standard internet. Port 443 is HTTPS, so it's encrypted mm -hmm. internet, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to have like port 139 open. Um, you don't want to have port 22. Mm -hmm. That's, that's you know, SFTP or that's SSH. Are there any apps that kind of require you to, to open up a port? Typically, even if there are, you don't want to do it. Exactly. What exactly. you want to do, you want to do, you know, you do port forwarding, so I mean, it, would just, it would just direct that traffic straight to the specific IP mm -hmm. address, mm -hmm. and that's what we want to do. Yeah, yeah. You never want to open your router up to the internet. Yeah. But, because and anybody can get in and fuck with yourself. Exactly, exactly. And you, we don't want any fucking with our shit because mm -hmm. we, we get our shit fucked up enough just by playing with it ourselves. Well, so. technically, yeah. if somebody can get in, if they want to be malicious enough, they can route their malicious traffic through your network if something was open. Oh, yeah. So That's a bad if, idea. So if they are doing something you know illegal or against the law... It could look like it's actually coming from your home network. And that's not good. No. That's not good. Not and well. again, folks, uh, you know, you don't want to do this to, you know, your neighbor. Um, I mean, if you have their, their permission to look for things that, um, you know, are, are open on, on their network and they want you to, to help them, that's great. But if you just decide that you're just going to start doing this, this is, you know, without permission to somebody, highly illegal. Uh, so, you know, again, this is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, we don't want to see any of our viewers going to prison. No, definitely no, not. No, it's, it's bad for our ratings. We want you to come back and watch more. Exactly. Watch us get completely shit-faced some more. That's happening today. Exactly. We're getting completely shit-faced. Live. Shit -faced. It's happening live. live. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, uh, we said, eh, you know, it's my birthday. We're going to go ahead and, and do this and see what happens. And it's the fucking New Year. It's 2021. Exactly. Happy New Year, exactly. Dave. Hey, Happy New Year. Another reason to. Woohoo! All right. We made it through that fucking crappy year that was 2020. Exactly. So uh, here's uh, another one. We're going to run this guy here. All right. There we go. There we go. And if you want to save this to a file, you can uh, basically, what is it? Uh, a uh, greater than symbol after it and. A, you know, with a space and then a greater than symbol and then space and then the name of the text file that you want to save it to. And then so, it'll, it'll just write it out to that text file. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes these are a little long, but uh, you know, the good news is in here we can scroll back up and see what it, it what it says. But well, this is a good way to test your VPN provider to see if they're actually following the oh, appropriate big time, standards. Big time. And NordVPN, like you said, they're they're a great great company. They're actually based out of Panama. They are. And so you know, if the U.S. government said, "Hey, we want your records." Well, they could raid, you know, an office of, of one of the U.S. Uh, locations, and they could take all the servers. But you know, if if your, you know, data is is really all in Panama, there's not much that can be done. I don't think. No, I mean, well, they, yeah. they, they don't. They don't. So another beauty is NordVPN specifies they don't hold any any logs. Correct. Correct. And that's and that's good for you know those countries that have you know more strict because the United States thankfully you know we're blessed with yeah. not having very strict internet but for those countries that have very strict internet you know those laws can be very damning to mm -hmm. those kind of people 
So that's it's that's another plus to Nord. Plus, NordVPN is not very expensive. No, no, super cheap. And, and I use it. I have uh, the account. It gives you either five or six devices. Yeah. So like, I've, I've got, got it on, on everything. Phone, I've yeah. got it on my computer. Yeah. It's yeah. perfect. Yeah. yeah, I've got it on everything. Uh, my Amazon boxes and everything. So what does this look like? Well, what do you think we've got so, here? That looks so like I it's see. Open? So they show. They have a couple. They have the, the the three you know normal ports. Yeah. Closed, but see those two down below the. And that's what I thought. I, I thought we were going to see some because I saw some last time, which kind of makes the, me question. The last server we were connected to, we didn't see anything. So as you can see, some NordVPN servers are set up a little differently yep. than others. Yep. Maybe that's region specific because you know these are in Colorado versus mm. something that's maybe in California or yeah. you know something something back east. I, I don't know, but. And just so you know, the script that we ran here, it's basically looking for vulnerabilities. We used Network Map. We said we're going to use a script. So let's actually take them real quick here to the script folder so that they can see just the, oh, sure. just yeah. the pure amount of scripts. There are then slash scripts. So here we are. And an LS. we're going to show you how many scripts they actually have in here. And these all come with Nmap. They all come with Nmap. So uh, if you know you go to their website, their website's actually really helpful. Go to the Nmap, I think it's nmap.org website. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there's a lot of good information there. There's also a lot of videos on uh, on YouTube, and you know maybe we'll get into uh, we you can know, some, make a couple of videos about yeah, going through some exactly, things, yeah. exactly. It's just a lot of stuff, and you know since we haven't been plotting here, you know for the last month that you know we're gonna try to break into somebody's internet. You know we're just kind of doing this off, uh, you know, by the seat of our pants. Yeah, so the vulnerability one that you ran here, if we come, if you want to highlight it real quick uh, here. You know what? It's it's one that's built in. It's not actually here. But awesome. if you okay. wanted to run, um, what was it? Uh, you know, you it's like if you want to run something against SMTP. So this, so yeah. this is SMTP is a uh, email server, right? Exactly. So if you had an email server, if you hosted an email server, you can run these various SMTP scripts Correct. to see if you have something vulnerable. Correct. So let's let's do this real quick. Uh, Nmap. And we're gonna do uh, dash dash script. We're gonna say equals uh, what SM, SMTP is that? SMTP, yep. SMTP. And we're gonna do star. So it'll run all the different ones. So yeah. it's gonna take. It's gonna look at all of those and say, you know, what's uh, what's going on with with uh, with this particular IP address uh, as it pertains to all these scripts. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Like Dave mentioned earlier, if you wanted to pipe this out to a text file, you can do, you know, the greater, you know, greater than. Type out your text file, and it'll drop that into whatever the directory that you have listed there. I mean, there's a number of scripts here, so it may take a minute or two. Oh yeah. Now let's uh, move this over here for a minute, and here we go. And while it's running. Do we want to talk about some of the GRC and a couple of the other ones? I wonder who, uh, who's watching this right now. Uh, hey there, how you doing? <laughs> we, have, we have one viewer. Yeah, we have one viewer. That's okay. We've got one viewer. Well, this is kind of spontaneous. We didn't plan this exactly. out. Exactly. So. Yeah, we, we just started it and uh, said, ah, we're just going to do this. We figured it's fuck, it's Dave's birthday. Yeah, let's, exactly. Let's, let's drink a little bit and do some text. Cheers. And uh, I, I, really I don't know which one I like better. They're both fantastic. You know what? I, I, I like this because it's a little bit smoother, but I, I'll tell you what. Um, I'll probably put this with some Coke because I think, uh, eh, you know, I hate to say it, but I'm almost, I can't even see it in the, oh, there's a little bit of a lag. That's there's probably a slide, a lag. There's a, there's a yeah. slide delay. Yeah. But uh, it's just so strong that it's almost like you really got to put it with something. And I guess water's okay. You know, ice is fine. And I mean, it was pretty good. Plus, in this one, I'm having neat. You know, the bib, the bib and Turner, right? Yeah, it's the bib and Turner. Yeah. So I'm having that one neat, and actually, it tastes pretty fantastic. Mm, bib and Turner, get some. Get some.